The composite consumer credit default rate falls to a new post-recession low, and the bill is proposed that would change the mission of the CFPB ahead on Wednesday's news wrap. Data shows that consumers have become increasingly more careful with their debt as the Composite Consumer Credit Default Index dropped to a new post-recession low in April. According to the April 2016 S&P Experian Consumer Credit Default Indices released on Tuesday, out of the four indices that comprise the Composite Consumer Credit Default Index of mortgage, second mortgage, auto loans, and bank cards, the only one that increased over the month in April was bank cards. The first mortgage default rate tumbled by 8 basis points over the month and by 14 basis points over the year down to 0.69%. With consumers watching their debts more closely since the beginning of the crisis, they are also spending less of their disposable income on their mortgage debt, and saving at rates higher than during the years immediately before the crisis. U.S. Representative Tom Emmer, a Republican from Minnesota, has introduced a new bill that proposes to change the mission of the controversial Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. H.R. 5211, known as the CFPB Dual Mandate and Economic Analysis Act, and introduced by Emmer, would amend the CFPB's mission to direct the Bureau's focus to competition and consumer choice while at the same time continuing to focus on fairness and transparency. You can check out these stories and all the latest happenings in the industry right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Thursday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.